Okay, in this particular video, we are going to check about the real life excesses. That means what are the excesses that uh, hackers are finding in the real life. So in the past tutorials, we saw that how we can practice the excesses into the controlled environment. So how we can solve the excesses challenge for the Google, how we can solve excesses challenge for the several other platforms, right? But how exactly excesses can be found and what kind of excesses exist in real life? that we are going to check in this particular video so for this we are going to explore a platform called hacker one so what is a hacker one if you are working in the cyber security you definitely know what is a hacker one but anyway i'll just tell you uh, suppose the hacker one is the middle guy where the companies register themselves and hacker also register themselves hacker basically finds the bug into the company's uh, assets and they report there and in return of that company pays the bounty Hacker one is just a middleman who connects the board. Okay, so it's a bug bounty platform. Okay, as simple as that. Okay, so in order to check the reports, what we are going to do, by the way, not all reports reported on the hacker one are public. Only those reports are public which are disclosed. Okay, so let's go to the Google and here we will use Google Doc to find reports from the hacker one. So we are going to use the site hackerone.com in URL reports okay so that will list down the all reports okay so here is a one report okay this report is reported in uh, january 2 25 2019 and the report title is stored excesses on reports and report is reported to the formerly known as a twitter currently the x and uh, report basically the issue was found in the asset called app.mopub mopub.com okay so basically this uh, asset is owned by twitter if it is reporting the twitter i am assuming that this asset is owned by twitter the bug is quite simple i have gone through the report so i'll just explain what is happening here okay so basically this is the link where the custom reports can be seen and in the profile page if i there uh, enter the xss call slash img whatever it is and if i save that payload in the input field then what happens it triggers the excesses it's a simplest thing it's a simplex thing i will explain with the, my own example right i cannot just go to the twitter's uh, asset and show in the video so i will explain with the, my example imagine i'm opening fluxet.com okay and i'll go to the profile page and i'll uh, try to change my username right or name so basically if i enter the payload in the field of the name and if i save it and if I try to access the location where the name is, okay, the current like plane location, then I get the excesses. Okay, that was the issue. Obviously, it will not get excesses or alert on my page because the simple thing is my page is not vulnerable, right? The Twitter link was vulnerable. So it's a like crazy simple issue. The only thing is you need to look for that particular issue and you check how many like uh bounty he's got he got around 700 dollar in the bounties right so for the simplest issue the only thing is you need to look for that issue and you need to identify that issue that's the only simple thing right so finding the excesses in the real life it is not the crazy right it is quite simple and anyone can do it the only thing it takes is the patience right Okay, let's move to the next excesses. What is this report? So this is basically a report reported to the Shopify and it is a reflected excesses on help.shopify.com. It's a one of their uh, subdomain, right? So I'll conclude this report also. So there is a link called help.shopify.com slash en slash support, okay? And uh, basically in that particular support page, there are some locations where user needs to be signed in. So the URL is basically whatever the link slash return to and then there is a link of the help page. Okay. So basically link of the authentication page in case of the sign in link of the authentication page. Then there is a return to parameter and then there is a your original link which is the help.shopify.com link. Okay. So the reason behind this link is basically when i go to the help.shopify.com if there is a some content which needs to be authenticated like uh, needs to be signed in user only can access that particular content then what user do click on that content it will automatically send to the sign in and it once the user is signed in then it will automatically come back to the original page where he was reading right so that return to value has the url of the help.shopify.com okay 
so basically that input was not completely sanitized and if i add there let's say uh, javascript alert then it will execute that particular javascript right so that was the issue okay it looks simple it is little bit hard to identify but yeah it is not crazy hard like other vulnerabilities like uh, server side uh, request forgery right so yeah and look how much bounty he got he got around 500 dollars right for excesses like this I know once you understand how to exploit the accesses, what you need to do is just have a patience and look for the all the assets. Uh, let's say, for example, if you are doing for Shopify, bug bounty for Shopify, then you just need to go through the all assets, carefully examine each and every place. And I'm 100% sure that you will find at least one vulnerability regarding this, right? So it's quite simple. Whatever it takes, it's just a patience. Okay. So yeah 500 dollar it is so i'll suggest stop wasting time watch the video and meantime start exploring the bug bounty program right you watch the video we explore the bug bounty program and when you in the flow it just your brain just multiplies the knowledge right so you if you watch video directly like this and you will think like okay so then i will learn about xsn and then i'll perform or try to uh, do bug bounty it will not work the correct way is start bug bounty right now start exploring then watch the video learn from the video and implement as it is in the real time right so that's the best way to learn and that's the best way uh, to grow in your field right okay so thanks for watching this particular video and see you in the next video meantime keep exploring keep hunting and don't forget to check out bug bounty platforms